Good morning. Let me see. Could you see me clearer? This lighting is a little bit horrible. I am actually in my truck waiting on my food. Just wanted to come in and say happy Thursday, grateful Thursday. The title says, don't be blindsided by the enemy. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Royal Priesthood family, we are down to the wire. We're getting ready to embark on upon a new journey with 2023 and end one in 2022. But there is still enough time for God to do exactly what he said he's going to do. The enemy is on his last leg, if you will. So many strange things are happening, unusual warfare, unusual tactics of stress and anxiety. Remember, the enemy has no new tricks. He has different faces and different tactics, but he has no no new tricks. You got to be mindful. We have to be mindful and study our opponent and know our opponent. So when something like, you know, a, a co-worker or either a family member, the enemy is trying to use them to vex you and try to use them to, to, to make you frustrated and angry and to lose your focus from what God is doing in your now so that you will miss, miss your next you have to be mindful. I have to be mindful that this is the enemy and you have to take authority over that spirit in that person. Because remember, Ephesians 6 tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Sometimes it feels like it. Sometimes it seems like it. But we wrestle against uh, spirit wickedness in high places. People who are operating under a demonic dark realm that sometimes they don't even know that the enemy is using them. And a lot of times the enemy uses us uh, uh, uses what is close to us, which is a family member, loved one, friend, colleague, whatever the case may be. And you got to recognize that's not seeker. I bind that in the name of Jesus. Satan, I recognize you. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. I take authority over this matter. I take authority over this situation and I bring it under the arrest of the Holy Ghost. And I loose the peace of God. I loose the, the divine protection of God. I loose God's preferred will in this matter. I loose positivity and I counsel that spirit of negativity. This was really, really on my heart as I'm waiting on my food. I'm getting ready to have a, a late lunch. I I was saying, you know, the enemy is really showing off, but God is so much bigger. He's bigger than any problem. He's bigger than any situation. And somebody in the matter, somebody in the situation got to be the bigger person and say, wait a minute, hold on. I recognize you, Satan. The Lord God rebuke you. Loose your hold in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot and I cannot fight fleshly things that are spiritual. You got to fight it with the spirit and with the word of God, because that's where your power comes from. That's where your victory come from. And that's where your backing in the heavens come from. You can't go tip for tap. And I'm not saying you just allow anybody to disrespect you, but you got to be mindful of the atmosphere that you are in. You got to ask God to increase your discernment, increase your protection. I said on one of my posts, either Facebook or Instagram, I always bring myself and my covering under the spirit of Psalms 91. It is a good read for you to read often. If you can't do it every day and read it often or either decree and declare Psalms 91, it, which is the divine divine protection of God. that and, and, and also too, Isaiah 54 and 17 is one of my favorites. No weapon, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I condemn the lies, the tactics of the enemy. I condemn every naysayer. I condemn every witch, every warlock. I condemn every voodoo worker. I condemn every sorcery. I condemn the kingdom of darkness and I loose forth the light of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. You got to be um, um, steadfast in this hour. You got to hold fast and you got to be alert and you got to recognize this is the enemy. He is trying to knock me off my post. He is trying to frustrate me. He is trying to make me be angry. He's trying to make me lose my witness, but he has no authority over me. I have authority over him in Christ Jesus. So I know that this is kind of a quick and I'm talking kind of fast, but like I said, I'm waiting on some food and got to get my lunch and got to go back to my post. But nevertheless, I want you all to be encouraged. I want you to know that Jesus is still Lord. And I want you to know that no weapon that's fashioned against you shall prosper and you shall still remain victorious in Christ Jesus. 
You are still the head and not the tail. You are still above and not beneath. There is no good thing that the Lord will withhold from you as you walk up right before, before him. And you and I got to constantly surrender ourselves under the Lordship of God and ask God to order our steps, direct our path, order our conversation aright, recognize the enemy and deal with him accordingly in Jesus name. And remember, Jesus is Lord. I love you, but God loves you more. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Have a beautiful day. And if your day started off wrong, take authority in the name of Jesus and cancel that and loose forth the peace of God for the remaining of your day and the remaining of your week. I love you. God bless you.